Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. Tis I, captain of the Steve's, and today, chums, for you guys and a few of us, I've got a cup, cup of tea with Captain Steve episode, and I'm hitting up distant world tours in no man's sky yet again. Right, let's have a little sip of the tea. Pretty nice. And let's uh, jump on on over onto the reaction cam to see where we're going today. So here we go, we're on waypoint six, people in the view of us. We're getting through this relatively quickly, but then again, I say that there's lots of different stages and you can see the size of this scroll bar. It's massive. Yeah, anyway, let's hit on up waypoint six. So this is by Bad Hat Harry, Bad Hat Harry. And I think there's two bases here. So there's this one that looks pretty darn freaking spectacular awesome. I, I think I want to view this one. That's cool, isn't it? I love all this sort of stuff going on. Looks like laser beams coming down from a US or something pretty darn sweet it is in Heuclid it's in an outlaw system I believe and oh look at this it looks like they've built a giant ship as well that looks cool is that on the back of a trading post I don't know we're gonna have to check well, maybe check that one too well there's two bases there I like to check one out of the two just in case so well not just in case just to give you guys something left to view you know so yeah, it looks like there's two bases. I don't know which one to go to. I like them both by looking at the screenshots, people. I'll tell you what, when I get to the planet, the very first base I see out of the two, I'm going to lock onto, and that's one we're going to go to. There we go. Decision made. Decision made, people. Right oh, so there's quite a lot of ships in this system as well, and a decent multi-tool with horns. It's a horny multi-tool! Excellent, eh? All right, cool. So here we go. Meet the builder. Bad Hat Harry, PC glitch builder. I've been running about in no man's sky for the entirety. Six of those years just by myself. I only started really focusing on building about a year ago when I started playing with other people. Not long after, I joined the Chimera Corp. Since then, my techniques and knowledge of everything No Man's Sky have flourished, and I have shared and learned with this community. You know what, I don't know whether I've hit up Bad Har Harry's YouTube channel. I haven't! This is a first for me, people, so I'm going to hit subscribe. There you go, I'm your 22nd subscriber there, Bad Hat Gaming. Bad Hat Gaming, Bad Hat Harry. My dad's name is Harry, and my granddad's name is Harry. My middle name is also Harry. Ha 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 ha! I've got a brother called Barry, I've got a granddad called Larry. We've also got a cousin called Gary, but none of us really like him, so we don't see him that often. <laughs> Gary, if you're watching... Yeah, you're not well liked. <laughs> <laughs> you are really Gary I'm just I'm just kidding you just live too far away that no one really pays you any interest yeah okay right <laughs> for fudge sake I'm gonna get myself in trouble with my family now people right let's jump on over into game here we go chicka boom and I'm over into game now we're over at my base right now peeps inside of the view of us and I'm gonna be hitting up the portal code I'm just scrolling on the other screen to get my portal code let's stand myself up and let's run on over and let's key on in said portal code peeps here we go hello there doohickey of portalness I guess I do like the old doohickey of portalness all right here we go and let's go key this in I do like all the visual effects on it they've greatly improved it haven't they to what ends and why okay shipley ship Sunday said boom there was a boat that drove to the sunset when it got there it got infested with beetles and then a big freaking I don't know what are they called whirlpools turned up and sucked the boat down into yonder you know, that's a downwards arrow there people and still the beetles though they were happy as Larry to be down there with the fishes yes and then um, they put all the fish into a giant box with the beetles and then the Sun it did rise um, over above some island full of birds and uh, then the beetles migrated there Chicka boom thunderly and done lovely little story there to go with the portal code i think i'm sort of spiraling into madness people i don't know am i still sane you let me know in the comments am i still all the ticket let's get into the portal Chicka boom i don't know whether that's the best idea to get certification on one's own mental health and stability is by asking people on youtube <laughs> If you look at the port, if you look at the comment section on most videos, you'd say probably not the wisest idea, Captain. No. Anyway, let's uh, go back to your cap, the cup of tea, because this is the stuff of English blood, isn't it? It, it helps us English people just soldier on. Ooh, stuff of kings. Thank you, ass. 
Right. Oh, my joypad just vibrated, so we've arrived, located. And let's see if it... Uh, oh, there we go. Discovered by Bad Hat Harry. Heck yes, Bad Hat Harry. We have arrived, located in your system. Right, so the first base marker that I see is the first base I'm going to go to. I'm going to rotate right. Oh, look, there's one there. Okay, I don't know which one this is, but I'm locking onto it. Cool. And I think it did say by Bad Hat Harry. So we're heading over there now, people. Let's take on off. So yeah, if you did watch last episode, last episode was weird because the base that I went to did not match the base that was on the um, the waypoint page. Is that the right one that I'm heading to? Is that the one that I've highlighted? Um, I'm unsure wherever it is. I think it was over this way, wasn't it? No, that's the blinking portal. All right. I'm playing on a much smaller screen, people. My eyes aren't all that great anyway. All right, well, there's a base there. I don't think that's the one I highlighted, though. Just not highlighted. Oh, some biscuits. Don't say it was right frickin' next to me. Is this it? D -d 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 no, can't be. You know what, sod it. I know that I highlighted one of the bases, but I'm not seeing where I blinking highlighted the base now. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's off planet. All right, cool. There we go. There we go. We're going. Meow. And we're heading over to the whatever this one is here. It's on a frost planet. Hmm. Now, I don't think those screenshots, to me, I couldn't tell if one was on a snow planet or not. Ah, I think the um, one with the beams coming down, just looking again. I think we're going to that one. I think it's the one with the beams. So it's not the uh, sort of like spaceship type looking one. I think it's the beamy one that we're going to. Yes. Did he give a name to this base? Let's have a little scroll down. Let's have a little look-see. Mm -mm -mm. It is called Uneppen. Uneppen. What the fuck is Uneppen? Yes, U U N E A P O N. What the fudge is that? I have no idea what that means. On Eppen. All right, fine. Well, let's head down here then. Dum 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 dum. Diddly diddly dee. Right. Okay, here we go. Holy fudge! This looks like you know, like that giant sort of thing inside of Dragon Ball Z. Kami's lookout. It looks like that. Can I land somewhere here? Is there any landing pads? Can I land on this? Can I land there? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? I'm gonna, gonna try. Oh, there's a hidden landing pad. Freaking lovely. I like it. I like it a lot. Heck yes. Extra brownie points for hidden landing pad. Nice. Nearly fell off of there though. Right, let's head on up here then. Sweet. Okay, I like this. Oh, I love those beams. Those beams look freaking great kind of wish I was here at night time to see them even better than that. I'm not even too sure how that's actually been done, to be honest. I'm not too sure what he's used for that. This one I do. I know what that one is. It's one of those um, glitch emittery type things. You know, the, the, the rock ones. Uh, I can't remember what the... Light Fisher. That's a Light Fisher, that one. And there you go. You can see the Light Fisher's in there. I'm not too sure how he's done the purple beams. Very cool, though. I like them. I mean, very, very snazzy. Very clever. However you've done them, very cool. Let's head inside because I'm, I'm getting frozen, did. Right. There's a little teleporter here. Let's teleport on up. Teleporter. Oh, fudging heck. And I'm in some, some sort of galactic simulation. Ooh, that's freaking great. You know, I think he scaled up the part that does that. I keep saying he. I, I mean, I'm, Harry is usually a male name, so I think I'm safe to say. Well, it's a guy rather than a gal. But here we go. Lots of sort of plants and stuff going on in here freaking sweet as I like it this is very cool very nicely done but look he's glitched a cube inside of that little glass jar that couldn't have been easy <laughs> very awesome okay right well, let's head on back down then I guess boom it's a quite a small little base you know what I like it can I actually go up through the roof through this ladder can I, can I use the ladder? Let's have a look. Oh, we can. Oh, and has it taken us into a secret room? I think it has. Oh, my days. Electric cube. Is that just loads of electric cubes all spliced in together? I think it is. That's craziness. You madman. Okay. It won't let me actually interact with one. Oh, it says pick up cube. I shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, it says it's not removable. Good. Yeah, I shouldn't be able to remove them. 
You know what? I think those beams of light, look up there, are they the teleporter cords? So what I think he's done is made the teleporter cords really, really big. Oh, how do I get back out of here? Um, I don't know where the ladder was. Oh, fudge. Oh, shite. Um, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, cool. I think we're good. Um, am I out? I don't think I am, actually, am I? Um, I can't jump out this window, can I? Oh, I can. Thank fudge for that. Yeah, I think these are teleporter cables, looking at it. And they've just been scaled up massively. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. But um, what a cool base. I love that. Oh, look at how they go right up into the freaking air. How high do those things go? Oh, that is so cool. Very nicely done. I know what part that is. That must have taken ages just to do that. Love it. They're really cool. Okay, let's jump down here. Let's see, let's see where this bit goes, because there's some, some ladders going down this way. Oh, there's even more down here. I think I chose the right base to go to, people, don't you? This is pretty darn freaking groovy. Um, okay. Holy Farginari! Oh, and we've got a game crash. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, dear. You've got to love it, haven't you? There you go, people. Right, well, I'm going to log back into No Man's Sky. You know what? I'm not going to bother. I think we saw enough of that base. <laughs> it killed me. The base killed me. Okay, right, there we go. Let's turn off the PlayStation D5. Anyway, so we're going to be hitting up waypoints. What are we on now? I've completely lost where we are now, people. Let's uh, let's jump on over onto the old Tinter webs. Let's click back a level. And so that was waypoint six. Next up, we've got a point of interest to do. I do kind of like to do the point of interest ones live. Hmm. So, but then we've got another. Oh, well, we've already got point of interest and stage seven. That's got four four bases in there and one base in there, so a total of five bases. I might only go look at maybe two bases inside the point of interest. I mean, I can't click it to see what these bases are, so it's a nice little surprise. I like the idea of Casino of Fudge, I guess, <laughs> and Santa's Workshop and Hogwarts. There's, there's a few of those that take my interest. So, yeah, we might jump over and do maybe one or two of those and then do this one. Um, But I think... I'll do them separately. I'll do them separately, separate episodes. So I'll do this one hopefully tomorrow, and then I'll have this one maybe over the weekend or something. But then we're going to be hitting into stage two, or should I? I need to make a decision whether I, I do all the stages, because look at the size of this. I didn't realise how big this was when I, when I said I was going to start doing it. But at the same time, I do want to do this until we get an update. So it could be that I just get as far as I can until a big update drops. And then we remember where we got to and then we pick up again whenever there's like um, a little bit of, you know, downtime in between updates. And I'll hit up a few more because there's so many names in here that I recognize like Katarin and stuff like that. And I've seen Inside Vortex is in here as well. Tea Bags and Shin Banjo. Awesome base builders. And that's all the way in stage four. So I, I don't want to just sort of drop this if I can help it because there's so much in here that i want to see so yeah tomorrow i'm going to be hitting up this point of interest and it's going to be a bit of a surprise because we can't see any sneaky sort of um images apart from this banner art and i'll tell you what it does look freaking awesome though doesn't it talking of banner art i need to get myself a thumbnail so i'm going to be using that as a thumbnail but there we go people I, I think i'm going to be ending off now but yeah we got ourselves a, a lovely little crash there at the base didn't we as i fell into oblivion kind of fitting really anyway Lovely job. Hope you have a good day, people in the viewer verse. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're liking this. If you are liking this little playlist, maybe share it amongst people that you know that are playing No Man's Sky. They're looking for things to do because it's quite a good idea. Okay, yes. Until then, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.